starting a new project. A really strange one, I have to say. But, I give you one guess who it's for. Yep, you got it. Kimmy Schwimmy. You know she's my daughter. <laughs> That's her, whatever, her, her name the, in her business. She is a music teacher, songwriter. She does all her own original music. She teaches children in preschool and she is quite famous up in New York and New Jersey. She just did a big show this past weekend. And I have to say, you know, I record these videos and they don't go out right away. It'll probably be January before this one comes out. And this is the 1st of October that I'm recording this. Um, but I have no idea exactly what I'm gonna do with this. She called me from a store she was in and showed me this. I'll actually maybe put the, that little bit of a video on the front of this video. And this thing lights up his eyes and his mouth opens up and he makes this roar. He's actually a Triceratops dinosaur, just the neck and head and it's mounted on a little plaque and I gotta paint all this for her uh, and then when I get it painted and hooked up on the end I put the batteries back in they go up in here and I'll show you how it works so you'll have to watch the end to see how this thing turns out okay um, I, I don't even want to show you my drawing I always draw out a sketch <laughs> It's kind of, it, now this one's pitiful. I will just show real fast. I'm embarrassed. I'm not an artist like that. But I usually try to draw a, kind of a similar semblance of whatever I'm painting and figure out how I'm going to paint it. <sighs> this one, I know for sure I'm going to do the dashing diamonds on his collar, neck, or whatever you call this thing. Um, I know that. I know that Kim wants the dignified dots on his horns. I know that I'm going to paint his teeth silver. I'm not sure. I think I may not. I think I may paint his horns a bronze color. It's going to be the blue she loves in the diamonds. And on this uh, mounting piece. I was going to do the royal squares, but I'm honestly thinking that's too much, too busy for what's going to go on on his head. So I may just do this a solid black and then do the stately stripes around the edge. That's kind of what I'm thinking now. But things change as they go along. So the first thing I've got to do is I'm going to clean it with some alcohol and put on a primer as I always do. I think I will do that off camera because it's a bit boring maybe even put on the base coat and then come back and show you how I'm going to grid the diamonds on his little neck whatever you call this thing uh, his protection his shield <laughs> I don't know uh, some kids who know dinosaurs and know exactly what it is uh, I kind of escaped that study when I was in school now so I think it's a huge study when they talk about the dinosaurs okay I'm gonna this is my intro, <laughs> and I'm done with it. I will see you when I finish what I'm gonna do next. Okay. Well, I did clean with alcohol, and then I remembered something I was gonna do, and Kimmy wanted me to do it for you to see. But there's some kind of, you know, these things are poured into a mold, and then they're pulled away from the mold. And this one has some little uh, plastic or whatever this is made of uh, resin I don't know residue so I'll, I don't want that that on this so I'm going to file it off I'll just do a little bit to show you but I've got these cute little files and they do the job and I'm going to use this and file all this off I may have to get one that's a little bit stronger 
because right here it's not doing too good. But I have got some some sander, sanding blocks that I may use. I think maybe that's what I'm going to use to get it off. But I was going to show you, I'm going to get all of that off and make it nice and smooth all the way around where there's not these little things sticking up. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to go get something stronger. This little file's not cutting the job. All right. All right, so I'm showing you it's this plastic, very shiny. Um, I don't know how to, I don't know what it's made out of, but can you put primer on it and would it stick? His mouth stays shut until you press the button and then it opens like that. So I'd want you to paint in there, in there. There's his teeth. Believe it or not, the Triceratops is my favorite dinosaur. So I would want you to paint even the plaque. The plaque and the dinosaur, the whole thing. Except leave the gold plate there. Maybe, maybe not. No, let's see. All right, and then when you push this, see? something hanging out of his mouth. Okay. <laughs> I spent quite a bit of time working on this. Kimmy, what you have done to me. Okay. I had to prime it and paint it and it was not easy. It was not easy doing this old guy especially with his jaw and inside his mouth and all around then I bit, put the base coat on the base coat on and then I started figuring out well, how I'm going to paint this thing I had already decided I was going to do the dashing diamonds up here and getting that gridded on this uh, and I, I looked it up and it's called a bony frill that guards his neck. Yeah, I did say some kind of a protection or guard, didn't I? Anyway, that is what it is. Protects his neck. Um, this is a Triceratops, if I haven't already said. The Kimmy Schwimmy gave me to paint, or gave, sent to me to paint. She bought it. I actually have a little video of her in the store shopping, asking me would I please paint this, and if I could, and all of that. It's kind of cute, so I'm going to show that eventually. I think I'm going to show that. I think I just showed it. <laughs> I'm not sure when I showed it. Either it's after now or it's before now. I'm the director, editor, executor, producer, makeup person, hair person, which is why I look the way I do <laughs> all the time. Anyway, I'll figure it out. She's either going to be before or after this little session. Okay, so I got it. I was going to grid it for you, but it was just too complicated, and I'll try to explain a little bit. Um, what I did, the hardest part was getting the dashing diamond pattern on the neck grill. The, what did I call it? The bony frill. Um, so I, me I, I measured kind of around, I put that little frill thing on my down on my pad and I traced around it to see the dimensions of it and then I figured out my pattern which I drew on on the pad and then I, to try to get a start on that I traced what I drew on here with my tracing paper then I put the tracing paper on transfer paper then I put that onto the neck and just as best as I could started making some lines in the directions I needed to go and that gave me a start and then I took because that's bendy I just took my piece of cardboard that bends and it has a straight edge <laughs> and I used that for my ruler to finish out all the lines that made the diamonds and you really won't be able to see those diamonds until I start painting them that's how I did that. Um, 
you know, I just teach myself. I'm pretty good at problem solving in everything. In my house, whatever. I'm an electrician, I'm a plumber. I've done a lot of things. So when I started painting, I didn't know what in the heck I was doing. I just started and started figuring it out and made mistake after mistake and learned that way. And I still make mistakes. <laughs> But as I always say, they aren't fatal. Um, you know, I told you what a big football fan I am. I'm going to start painting here. I'm going to start doing these stripes. But I have told you guys, I'm a humongous football fan. It's a, a huge part of my life, especially college football. I was born in Opelika, Alabama, and that is city limits meet with, um, now you got half my face, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. I want you to see what I'm doing, and I hope you can. And in a minute, I'm going to move this over. I may move it over now so you can see what I'm doing. I think I'll move it to a close-up camera. Okay.